in terms of strategy, let's say your um, priority right now is to, to get more clients, to increase your income. And then you find yourself having quite a bit of time spent in creating content. Uh, maybe you're like spending time not only creating content, but then repurposing it for different platforms. Uh, and you're thinking, well, should I maybe spend less time on doing all this content and social media stuff and focus instead on, on getting clients? Is that a good step to take? Uh, yes. I mean, I, I always want to remind, uh, remind everybody that content in terms of getting clients, content tends to be a long-term strategy. It's like planting seeds. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's like, you know, creating a whole new garden, right? You plant seeds, you nurture water, tend to the small shoots coming up and but that's like months and months if not years for for it to bear fruit literally to harvest whereas um if you if you want to harvest the fruit you don't go well let me go ahead and start planting a, a new garden now <laughs> right when you have to harvest the fruit you go well let me see uh, where i can harvest the fruit whether it's from my own uh, orchard i guess orchard garden etc or it's from a friend's orchard or garden. Maybe they have some fruit that's just falling from the trees and I can go and harvest the fruit from their trees, right? Um, because they don't really need it. So let's talk about this, right? So what does it mean to, you know, again, content long-term, then what is short-term? Short-term harvesting fruit, low-hanging fruit, right? Or fruit that's ready, more ripe and ready is to look at among your audience and network um, who might be ready to work with you to uh, buy your service or product? Okay, on the one hand. On the other hand, I said you can go and help your friends harvest their fruit as well. So among your friends, your colleagues, who has an audience that might be ripe and ready to buy, you know, to, to buy your service or product? So just, just having those two questions. Um, with your own, uh, I guess, audience, well, you ask, you ask, first of all, you, you have to put, put, put this on all your social media, wherever you are. Hey, everyone, this month, I'm focusing on this particular service. I, I know a lot of you don't know that I do this. I love doing this. Um, here is some testimonial about it that from clients. Uh, here is some uh, situations that I can help you with. Um, please inquire with me if you're interested and feel free to share this if you know somebody. So just like a gentle launch, you know, just making sure your email newsletter, your social media people all know about this. And then the second part in terms of your audience is to do personal outreach as you feel is appropriate. You know, maybe there are some people who have been commenting on your things for some time, or maybe you have some people that you think, oh, maybe I should reconnect with that potential client or that past client. Uh, how are they doing? And um, you know, when, you're, when you reconnect, it's not like, hey, well, you wanna buy from me, but rather, hey, just wanna check in, how's it going? If you've worked with them in the past, how's it going with that thing we did, right? Or if they inquired in the past, hey, I just wanna check in, you know, right now I do have some space, right? So that's your own audience. With a friend's audiences, it's more like, asking if your friends would be interested uh, like you know letting your friends know that you have openings in your client right now and you're focusing on this service right now this particular service or this package and um if they are willing and interested uh to, to share that with with others that could benefit if they have an audience they might even be willing to interview you about that service or product interview you about your work your message so anyway so that's the sort of um harvesting of of ripe fruit. Uh, in terms of whether to reduce your content time, um, yeah, I think, I think if spending the time harvesting the fruit is taking, it's more than enough time, I mean, that's all the time that you have, then certainly you need to say, well, remembering that content is long-term, what is the most essential content I wanna keep going with for the long-term? And then the other thing. So, for example, I know Bing's your you know medium.com is an important platform for you. So maybe you want to focus on that. And then the other things platforms, you just do it less often. 
don't feel the pressure that you have to show up every day on fill in the blank platform. Just say, you know, instead of showing up every day, how come I just, how about I just show it once a week or once every two weeks I show up there. And then, but with my main platform, I will show up a bit more often uh, as I can. I mean, whatever, and you might say, well, maybe medium is taking me a long time or maybe what can take me less time that I can show up with more regularly and medium I'll show up once a month with an article or once every two weeks. Or whatever. So think about which, when it comes to content, which one takes you the less time with the most impact, focus on that, doing that more often. And then the other ones, knowing that it's more long-term, do it less often. So let me know if that helps. Reducing the frequency of posting is something that some of, sometimes we feel guilty about doing. <laughs> Maybe because you hear from me, consistent content. And so you think, well, you know, George is expecting me to show up, you know, three times a week on, on Instagram or something like that. No, no, no. You know, with, with every social media platform, um, it's more about the quality of content and engagement than it is about frequency. It's, it's important. It's like, well, George, I heard, I heard that you have to show up once a day or, you know, twice a week or something. Let it go because even with Instagram, you'll notice when you scroll on Instagram, you scroll without, without long. I mean, just one or two scrolls. You see a post that was from two or three days ago. Oh, wow. You know, so it's not just the, the things from the last 24, 48 hours. They also feature, I, I see things from a week ago, just a few scrolls, like one or two scrolls. It's like, oh, one week ago, someone posted that. So it's about the quality of engagement. And um, even if you show up once a week, you know, uh, your, your, your fans, especially your true fans, the people who resonate with your energy, they're going to say, oh, there, there you are. And then they're going to engage. And then other fans will, will see that just with a few scrolls. So I hope that helps.